Hello everyone. Uh, in this short video, I'll try to uh, share with you how I'm utilizing best order flows and a book map and T uh, tools in my strategy. I don't uh, use everything, um, although I know there's even more solutions <laughs> to a question uh, of uh, high quality trade entries. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, I kind of started randomly and I see like, okay, I can, I think I can record it and kind of show you the process. That's usually what it is, plus minus. Um, uh, that's what you see on the screen. Um, as you can see on a three minute window, I made an entry going long. I already made some money. Uh, watching market where it's continuous. Um, it's uh, breaking through the order blocks in uh, eight seconds. Now, the reason I decided to uh, take profit here because of these order blocks in eight seconds uh, formed, and I was anticipating for a market to actually uh, turn around and go short, where a delta on eight seconds showed me uh, some uh, possible movement to the downside, and uh, uh, the heat map levels in 30 seconds showed me uh, some contracts got collected in the process but paying attention to other tools provided by uh, best order flow uh, we see that market will continue going long based on the uh, footer and other data on the bottom in 30 seconds and uh, there's a order block and a heat map telling us where market actually being uh, pulled to uh, in eight seconds so based on that uh, I'm placing a limit order at the bottom of the order block and wall of uh, orders from the uh, heat map, which got activated. And moving my stop loss to the next uh, magnet area, which is order block and another heat map uh, fans, I call it. Watching market go short, I watched the general situation what's going on, what's happening on the charts, and uh, to me it seems like uh, it's going to be just a little correction down. I adjust my profit, expecting it to actually continue to go up because there's still more unfinished business there with all those contracts if you see them. As expected, um, it uh, starts ranging on the uh, FIB level. I take my profit here and I watch what's market gonna do next. What's it gonna tell me with the heat map, with the delta, with everything, with order blocks. And uh, I'm waiting carefully because it's like infighting between uh, where to go up or down because it's right there on the FIB level uh, going sideways. Uh, keep on watching there's a huge order block uh, on the bottom there's a big order block on the top i'm waiting for reaction for either or uh, and uh, my bias is actually is gonna hit that uh, block on the bottom although heat map not telling me anything but um you know like uh, if we know uh, uh, the uh, it, it goes up and down so logically it would actually react on that block on the bottom that's where I adjust my uh, uh, limit order because of that heat map that telling me, okay, if it's it decided to, to go down, it will actually uh, hit those uh, heat map levels, okay? While market's still ranging, I'm not sure, but I'm more biased. Uh, it's gonna go to the bottom first and then it's gonna go up. Although, as we can see, heat map actually telling me, oh man, there's a lot of business, there's a lot of hungry uh, uh, brokers or whoever, market makers on the top in that order block. But, you see, uh, it's actually went for that bottom part, activated me on that order block. I adjust my stop loss again to the top of the next order block in line in a higher time frame. And uh, uh, that heat map telling me, okay, there's more 
even more hungry people in the top that want uh, they will actually magnet the uh, market there before it continues down and I adjust my uh, profit accordingly if you can see on the heat map levels because that's what <laughs> big boys that's where big boys sit and that's where they talk to each other You see, I put the, my stop loss even behind the next order block on that uh, heat map level. I don't have any other um, uh, way to tell where the market would actually adjust to. But all for all, judging in the 30 second window, you see it tested the order block and now it's working its way uh, up. We are adjusting uh, take profit on the bottom of the order block because I'm thinking there's too much pressure uh, from the top actually trying to push the market down uh, uh, nobody knows I don't know but I'll take my money and I'm content with what I get see all the heat map telling you okay this is this is where it's it's gotta it's gotta hit there that's where the money is 30 minute you can see 30 minute I mean 30 minutes, I'm sorry, it's a 30 second, I don't do 30 minutes. But it's probably the same stuff uh, happening on 30 minutes as well. So I'm ready to take my profit. Uh, there's my fib that I use to actually figure out if it's actually, is there's confluence with the fib levels. But looks like no needed, I, I got my money and I'm waiting next where to go, what to do. As you can see, I'm expecting the reaction of the order block going short and uh, placing stop uh, there right under that block. If it's gonna shoot up, it's gonna actually react next time at that order block. I readjust a little bit. If it's gonna just touch the order block, then I'm safe. If not, that's, yeah, that's, that's a part of the game. really expecting this order block to actually reject the market and uh, push it down a little bit risky but you know it was not on the whim i was actually uh using this information to actually make sound decision where i'm gonna stay that's what i'm gonna do market reacting I'm not sure again where the market would go. I uh, deploy my FIB level and it's right there in the golden zone. And if it's actually what it is, then I'm in the money again. Yeah, the FIB is on a 30 second time frame. I'm adjusting my stops, uh, take profit. You see they're right on the top of the order block going short. Yep, uh, if you look at the eight seconds, uh, I adjusted my profit a little bit longer. I uh, checked my uh, stop loss because it's kind of tricky right now. But I decided I'm not moving anything, that's where it is. Because if it's gonna go into inside of that uh, order block in eight uh, seconds, it actually will probably work all the those work orders that he's up telling me, so I'm not I'm not gonna feed the market with my money. That's all risk I, I will take. But yeah, market actually going down, and I'm about to get my profit. All right. Again, uh, reaction on order block. I'm trying to see what uh, what it's gonna do next. The next level probably gonna be 